I swear, these 1Ls get younger every year. And you're complaining? No, no, no. I mean, it's just, it's hard to relate, right? I mean, we took a couple of years off after undergrad, but some of these kids look like they haven't even graduated high school yet. Oh, that's all part of Maureen's pre-prodigy program. What? She's got this idea, if we get one of those young geniuses before anyone else does, We'll finally get the edge on those Harvard Law douchebags. <laughs> Wait, did she actually call them douchebags? She's very passionate about this. Oh, God, that's great. And as you see here, we have our beautiful law school cafe, where in just a few short years, some of your sweet little darlings will be able to sip Starbucks and quietly sob into a case book. Oh, there's my prodigy now. Sup to it, Feezus. Speak of the devil. Satan incarnate. I know you are, but what am I? Oh, please don't get her started on this shit again. You know she's like five years old. Ooh, you say a bad word. I'm telling. Oh my god, for fuck's sake. What's the matter? Scared of looking up at a five-year-old from the bottom of the curve? Why don't you run home to your mommies? Baby T, we are adults, and you are the only person at this law school who still lives with their mother. Coulda for me. Looks like your mommy picked out your clothes for you. Um, baby T, your mom literally picked out your clothes for you. There's a note on your shirt. So I don't forget, Dean, Dean. Oh, what is it, my precious little game changer? It hurt my feelings. Oh, baby T, don't you worry about these middle-aged gap-eared nincompoops. <laughs> Listen up, fuck boys. You better learn how to play nice or start filling out transfer applications to BC Law, or Suffolk, or Northeastern, wherever the fuck. Come on, baby T. Let's get you a juice box from my office. Yay, Elwood wine. Oh my God, is she serious? 100%. But it's not that bad. We've got free warm milk on Wednesdays. We've got baby wipes in all of the bathrooms. And we might get nap time. Oh yeah, okay, that nap time actually sounds really, really good. But I guess that means that I have to take it easy on baby T and her friends, huh? Yes. Damn, I said, why? And he said, because the courts are trying to prevent injustice. And so I said, why? And he said, because that's the goal of our entire judicial system. And so I said, why? And he said, because that's the way that our founding fathers organized the judiciary. And so I said, why? And he said, just stop talking for like 20 minutes. <laughs> Baby T, I just knew that I had struck gold when I gave you that full ride. All of the doubters said, she doesn't have enough experience. She's too immature. She can't even read. But I knew you would prove him wrong. I just knew it. Of course I know how to weed. I just finished coloring my dissertation on post agrarian class struggles and Doisette's use the brother's cameras off. Ah, uh, yes. I loved your commentary on the cow. It does go moo. So simple, and yet so succinctly argued. Oh, well, Auntie Maureen has a meeting. Play nice. I just can't believe it. You better believe it, chump. And don't you go throwing shade my way. I'll bleach you like a stuck pig. Oh, my God. Even he can't save you. You know how hard it is to get a good scholarship nowadays? Oh, ain't nobody taking away my shot up nap time, so keep your mouth shut, capiche? Sure, sure, baby T. Whatever you say. 